Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to track your website's SEO performance in Airtable using your Google Search Console and the Data Fetcher extension. So in order to begin, you want to arrive to your Airtable base where we're going to go ahead and add the Data Fetcher extension. So over to the right hand side, you'll see this extensions option. If you select that, it will pop up and you can select the add an extension button. Now in the top right hand corner, you can search for the data fetcher extension simply by typing in that search bar and the following will pop up. Select the add button here and select add extension to add this data fetcher extension. Now the following screen will load where you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. You'll arrive to the following screen and you can import your data now. So we want to create our first request by clicking on that blue button. And from this drop down menu, we're going to select the Google Search Console. Now this will need your authorization. So if you click on the blue button that reads new Google Search Console connection, the following will load and Data Fetcher will request to access your Google account. Select continue and now you can see the status is connected. Now we are going to retitle this request and we're going to retitle it as fetch SEO metrics just up here where it reads request one like so and then we're going to select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. We'll arrive to the following screen where you can select your site that is in your Google Search Console. So just from this drop down menu, your site should appear there. So it will look differently to this. And for the date range, we're going to select the last month. Again, this depends on what your preference is. So choose from that drop down menu according to what you need. Then we're going to go and split by date. So this means that you are splitting the data into different records based on the date. So this means we will get a different record in Airtable for each date and we can create charts of our SEO performance versus the time in Airtable. For the output table and view, it should read as table one and grid view by default. But if you did title your table before you came here, it will read differently. So select what you need to from the output table and view. It's going to be where you want to import your SEO metrics into. Then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and click continue. Now the following page will load and this is the response field mapping. So from here you can choose which fields you'd like to have imported into your Airtable base. You can turn these toggles on and off simply by switching them from green to gray. You can turn that back on again. And I do want to bring in all of these fields. So I'm going to leave all of these turned on. But again, this is your preference. So decide which you'd like to bring into your Airtable and then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Select show output table and we'll arrive to the following screen where we can see all of that information has now been imported into Airtable. So this is really amazing, but we can actually make this more visual than it already is by adding the free charts and reports extension to our base. So in order to do this, there will be a link in this video description, or you can check out our blog on this exact topic on our website to find links as well. And if we scroll past what we've already done, so great, we did that so fast, you can see the button for add the free charts and reports extension. So if you select that, the following page will appear where you can simply click on that big blue button again, add extension, and we will be able to choose our base here. So however you titled your base originally, this is what you want to select from this drop down menu. So you can click on this and then search for it. So we're going to search for how to track and it is the green one there as you can see and click add extension. This will bring us back to that Airtable base where we can select add extension. And as you can see, this automatically brings us to the following screen. Here we want to select on the add chart option. So over to the right hand side, you'll see this data option here. For the bar chart, I do want to select the line bar chart. So once we select line under the data source, we're going to leave that table as table one, unless you've titled your table differently. And for the x axis, we are going to select 
date from that field option. For the y-axis, we're going to click on Add Y-axis Series, and we are going to choose clicks here so that we can see how many clicks over the date. And so the chart uses a default y-axis range, as you can see here. It doesn't show at zero. So you can add that by going back over to the right-hand side in the y-axis section and changing that range to zero, and immediately you'll see that now appears down below like so. And now our line graph shows the SEO performance of our website over time. Really cool. So we can add a second SEO performance field to the same chart by adding another series and clicking on that add Y axis series button again. I'm going to click on impressions so that I can see the impressions now as well as you can see here. Now it is a little bit hard to see the clicks because there is such a big difference between the clicks and impressions. So if you're also having this problem, we can fix this by adding a second Y axis label for impressions with a different range. So over to the right hand side, you'll see you're under the data tab, we're going to change this to customize. So under that customize tab, we can now show a second Y axis. So we're going to turn that on. And you can see that appear to the right hand side, we are also going to change this range to zero again. And now we're going to label our Y axis because we do have two to avoid confusion. So for the first Y axis, you'll see the label section here, you have that Y axis, and we're going to give this the name of clicks because that is what it is. As you can see that now inputs the information. And for the Y axis second, we're going to give that the name impressions, really nice and simple. And as you can see, we're now tracking our websites SEO performance in Airtable for both the clicks and the impressions over time. Amazing. So you can use the same approach of importing data with data fetcher and visualizing it with charts and reports to track all of your marketing metrics in Airtable. So you can actually import data from Google Analytics, Facebook, ads or YouTube analytics. And if you head back over to our blog on this topic and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can check out the full list of Airtable integrations here. So you can see exactly what data you can track through data fetcher. So hopefully today you have learned how to track your website's SEO performance in Airtable. But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com where like I say, we do also have this full length blog for further details. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.